what is interesting is that you can make uh, the donut any size. You can make it skinny, where the, inner, the donut is more like an inner tube, or you can make it fat. It's more like a monster truck kind of stuff. You can make a what? We're going to cut a lot of clay after. So here we go, we're going to make a donut. So after I center this sucker, it's about as wide as I want. We're going to open this to the bat, completely to the bat. And the hole, you can determine how big you want that hole. You can make it even small like this, or we could actually open this up. Even wider, huh? So you can imagine what size donut you want. Okay, I'm going to set, set, um, center this again. So it's fairly um, wide opening on the inside. So again, nothing in the middle here. We're going to support here and push down right in the middle. Make sure when I push this down that we have enough clay on the other side. You're going to raise both sides. Yeah, we're going to raise both sides. So we open this up slightly. And you can determine how big you want your um, donut to be. Right here, this is the um, width of that donut we're going to have. So I'm going to pull this middle part up. And then we're going to pull the outside. So I drag my finger here, and I'm going to lift that up. We're going to make, we're going to pull this up. And then you can kind of shape it slightly. I can make that curve on the outside a little bit. I just lean on that wall and on the inside too, lean on it slightly. Okay. So we have a curve on the inside, we're going to have a curve on the outside slightly. Now we got to touch these together. When we touch it, you want the, it to touch up here before you push it down. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a hole if you just try to touch it like this. Yeah. So as I lean on this one right here, Bend it over. We don't uh, just you have the inside sure. taller than the outside. Oh, you can do it either way. It doesn't matter. Okay. Right. Sometimes outside might be higher, whichever. Way. So right here, see, we just kind of just lean here, and we just keep waiting as it's spinning. It'll eventually touch, and then once it touches, you push it together and compress it. So from here now. So it's easy, huh? <laughs> and so now we use this, it's flexible. We can use this to cradle it and then make whatever shape, clean it up. Bend it. Now get rid of the water on the inside, clean up that on the outside, and now we can bevel it. Yeah, so I'll cut like this, and then I'll just cut underneath. And we can make that curve already. So it makes it that much easier when we have to trim the other side. And you can do that on the inside too. Huh? Now this one, it's a little bit higher on one side, so let's fix that. Because I want to stand this up. Today, by the end of tonight, we'll have this standing up. I'm going to dry it with a torch. Compress this. Now you see the hole opened up. I didn't compress it that way. I'm going to stand it up on this edge here. stand it up this way and then I'm gonna throw a little stand here and a little top on the top okay let's get started